It's time again for a midweek boot sale, but it's the first one of the summer holidays. Kids aren't at school, so I can take my sweet time, which is good to have to rush back for the school run. It's coming towards the end of the month again already. So I'm on the budget. I've got about hundred quid on me. Midweek one is where I get all the cool stuff. So it's like antique house clearance, that sort of thing. So sometimes I have to pay up, but most of the time it is worth it. Come with me, let's see what we can find. All right, seconds out, round one. We're having a bit later than I normally do, only by five minutes, so people are still setting up, haven't missed out, hopefully, on too much. That's Levi's there. How much on your jacket? Is that one? Fiver. Levi's, fiver. Converse. Sport wound. What is this? I ran the world, band aid. 25th of May, 86. Interesting. I don't know if that's genuine. Like 80s. Nicholson leather jacket. Got a nice like blanket inliner. Put that down there as well. How much on a leather jacket there? That's a school one. Okay. Nicholson. That's good. Yeah, right. That's already been done. 20 quid. Tex Max. Hold on to that for a minute. It's got all marks over it, that one. Sport aid. Race against time. I don't know if that's old or not. We did 20 full of two of them together. What, sorry? Did 20 full of two of them together? 22. 22, yeah? yeah? Okay. Hold on to them. I'll grab them both, please. There's 22. So we'll go back to Cheers, mate. Thanks, thank you. Bye. How much was the t shirt as well? I reckon four on that. Okay. Original, wasn't it? It's original. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, it's original. 1980, with a date on it. Original. Oh, cool. I've got a Nike one as well. That's own. 500 pair. 500 pair, yeah. Take them as well. And there's five. Good luck, mate. Thanks Lovely. Much, Cheers again. That's laser printer here, Samsung, Wi Fi. Morning. How much on a printer here? Uh, tenner. Cool. Uh, Comes straight from a posh house. A posh house? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, because you yeah. know she will only give me stuff that works as ladies. She'll not work for. I'll turn that for ten, please. Yeah, yeah just whip it open, I'll shove it in there. Cool. And ten. Lovely. There you Thanks go, thank much. you. Cheers. Oh, records all to myself. I don't usually look at records. Oh, they look very old. Uh, no, <laughs> I'll leave them. Off to a strong start so far today, nice and quick, picking up items. People still coming in to sell as well, so yeah, should be a good day today. It's this crew clothing, feels nice and light. It's got a down feather, but I can't see a tag. No, it's on oh, polyester. If it was down feather fields, it would have still been worth looking up, but it was just polyester, so nothing special there. Wolf face, loads of holes. I'll leave that before we even check it's real. Loads of holes ain't, ain't what I'm looking for. Went a bit country then. This ain't what I'm looking for. Sold. Can't see what brand that is. I feel nice. A bit of creasing going on. Oh yeah, churches. There's a box right there. Churches is good. How much on the shoes? Yeah, oh, yeah. Don't need to be seeing it again. You take three pounds for them? Yeah. Yeah? Take them. 
Nice box of them as well. Three quids, getting resold. So much easier. See if I can get these for two quid. Bring it to a fiver. It's not really worth a lot, but size seven, I think. Yeah, size seven. Yeah. How much were these trainers as well? They were quite expensive. Okay. So I've written a fiver at least. Yeah? Yeah. And plugs as well? I don't know actually. Mr. Burrell. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Okay. How much are you asking on that? Three quid. Three quid, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, OU6, so there's three and three, okay. the churches, yeah? Yeah. Uh, so there's the five. Right. Oh, there you go, that's the six. Right, lovely. Lovely, thanks for that. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Sound a bit different. Dell touchscreen, multi touch, full HD. I don't know if it's old technology, so it won't be worth as much. Multi touch, gestures, Windows 7. How much on the monitor? Okay. Was it like a computer as well? Yeah. Is it? Or, okay. Yeah. Alright. Uh, will you do 20 for it? 25. 25, okay. Uh, right. uh, so have a think about it. I might come back for it. Just uh, not 100% sure. 25. I'd rather spend 25 on something else if I can find it. Might come back for it, try and get it for 20 again. Later on in the morning, if it's still there. Trolleys, yeah. I've done it eight car box now for 10 years. <laughs> yeah. years. Saves so going back to forth to the car and that, yeah. You either get an old iPod, two old iPod, or you have to put the little cable connect to it. It was really good fun. With that mouse, I think. All right. How much are you asking on the? Uh, that's a lot. Right, I'm going to ask hmm, 10. Is that How about 15 for the mixer? 10. Can have a look for it? Yeah. Here's a mouse, yeah. Five for the mouse, 10 for that. Yeah, sure you can. Yeah, sure you can. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? This look, that's lost its colour over the years. But, and this yeah. is, what's it called, a modem, isn't it? Modem, yeah, yeah. We do 20 for both, together? I, if that was 10 and that was 15, 25. 22? Yes. In the middle, yeah. Phones? Yeah. No, 22? Thank, there you go. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Boys Brigade. That's a big one. How the hell would I post that? I just like it. Oops. How much on the drum? It's 90 pound, mate. 90? Yeah. Good yeah, it's cool, yeah. Boys Brigade. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. It's too rich at 90, but that is cool. Big bass, big bass, big bass drum. So we're at that halfway point, back to the car, unload, have a closer look at what I've picked up so far. See what money I've got left. All right, the trolley of treasures. So I think the last pickup you would have seen me do is this Apple wireless keyboard. It's genuine Apple as well, looked it up. So it's like a proper clickety click, that sort of thing. Wireless as well. So I've got that and the other thing I'll show you for 22, so 11 pounds each we'll say. Who knows she was asking 10 for that. So we'll say this was eight quid. I thought this would be worth a good amount, wireless and like clickety-click keyboard that people like. I thought it would be worth 40 to 50. Only seems to be worth about 20 plus postage. That seems to be the higher end as well. So that was a surprise. I thought it was going to be worth double that, but yeah. I still make profit, but um, might, I don't know, a bit more research, but from my research quickly, it looks like it's only worth about 19.99. So that's a shame, but this will make up for it. This is a Newmark iDJ. You put two older connecting iPods in and you can mix them, play them, do all sorts of fun stuff, apparently. It's 
It's got all the wires and cables. This is more the 45 to 50 mark, so that makes up for it. So small profit and then a the bigger profit there. Obviously got to make sure it's working, but I can't see why it wouldn't work. She seemed genuine. This was a slightly different pickup for me. Uh, got TP-Link uh, pass-through power line starter kit. I think it's like just an extension on your Wi-Fi in your house. That's what I can gather from it. There's two in there and he gave me an extra one, three quid. So there's one there and then one's unused, which is nice. And then another used one. They seem to be going for about 15 pound each used. So obviously 15, 30, 45 quid from three pound. And one's brand new, unused as well. So that was a bonus. From the same store, got these churches. Real nice box as well. Looks like that was just put away and kept safely. It looked like he did enjoy these churches because uh, they've been resold and then the resolding has gone through as well. So um, yeah, I paid, what was this? Yeah, this was three quid for some churches. Nice big size as well. Okay, boomer. I think they were a 10 or something like that. Can't remember now. Good size, really good quality make. A bit of crease in here, but not too bad. But um, yeah, from three quid, I'll get them resold. Don't know how much that is, but for churches, it should be worth it. If these are in really good condition as they were, I think that's a monk strap that's called. Should be worth three figures or just about three figures. So for three quid, that's why I was picking them up, even with that bit of damage to the sole. Get that repaired and it's worth it. You saw me pick up clothing right at the start. I'll show you the uh, keeper. This is for me, size large. Just a Nike t-shirt, just to go with that other one to make it two for five. And there's this one. I'm in an R in. Apparently it is original. Sport Aid, I ran the world t-shirt. 25th of May, 86, Sport Aid. Then 100% cotton, made in Turkey. Got this older tag. There's a few marks in it, but uh, two pound fifty with that other T-shirt. Saw one on bids currently, going for twenty-two pound with bids at the moment. So obviously, two pound fifty. I'd give it a wash, try and get that out. I'm not sure if that will come out, but yeah, again, old. Hopefully, do a bit more research, but it's cheap and cheerful, so worth the risk. Then that right at the start, Fiverr. Was it five? I think this was five. I can't remember now. Got a nice Levi's jacket. Not super heavyweight, so will be good for autumn. Come up to the back end of summer now. You want to start listing coats sort of mid to late August, surprisingly. That's when people start looking for coats. So I'm keeping that in mind. That's only a month away. Size large again, Levi's. Nice sort of jacket for a fiver. Levi's, good condition. Always taking that. Should be worth hopefully 35, I'd say. 30, 35. Got this for 20. I think this was in the same deal. I can't remember exactly now. <laughs> We've got Nicholson, like a leather jacket, really nice. I know Nicholson leather jackets are a good name to look out for. Hopefully worth 80-ish, maybe over 100 just about. Again, good condition, good size. All the buttons are there. Nice sort of blanket finish lining as well. Yeah, good one. And then last but not least, a nice big item that I didn't really need, but it was only £10. Samsung wireless printer laser printer which is good not just inkjet it's wireless so modern technology good name samsung printers nice and reliable without looking it up should get at least 50 to 60 but if not if it's a good one that people like like use third party ink cartridges because i think they're starting to detect that and you can't really use third party anymore but with older models you can so they're coming more valuable if you want to save money on ink so 50 to 60 but if it's something special Hopefully again, three figures. A few moments later. Oof. Oof. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I got curious again. I looked up completeds and solds and what's available. Someone's currently asking 199, 200 quid for one of these and then used and sold. Someone got 150 up to 200 pounds. So there we go. That's what I was saying. 50 to 60, and then if it's something special, three figures. Obviously, you've got to test to make sure it's working, but apparently it's from a posh home. So should be working, hopefully, if it was well looked after. That is a right result. So emptied the trolley. Let's go again. Let's see what I've got left. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 pounds plus change left. So probably about 65 to 70 pound left. Nice amount. Nice vintage golf bag. That's got clubs in it. I'm not really bothered about the clubs, I don't think. And the trolley. It's from the bag, to be honest. 
That was really nice. A bit of rust in that. Probably want more than what I want to pay just for the bag. Plus there's all this in that. Uh, how much on the golf set here? Oh, this side. All right, cheers. <laughs> I'll leave it for now. 50 quid for ancient laptops. No, no, because I don't want that. I only want one item out of that set, so I can't be bothered. <laughs> We've entered the antique zone. Mostly antiques anyway. I haven't come across anything in the antique section yet. You should come down here, there's something to buy. But I've not seen anything today. The sort of old stuff that's going to cost far too much. Uh, there we go. Do get the odd general store that sells standard stuff like this. I've not seen anything that catches my eye. Look at them. Got to be brave to carry them off. Want to metal toe. That's you. I'd be surprised if that's that real zebra as well. I just researched him. Guccinari. I don't say it. It seems to just be a cheap brand. Yeah, the shoes aren't going for very much. There's some zebra ones there. Tenor or best of her. Thought it'd be something cool, but normally ugly sales. But yeah, they're just a cheap brand. It's nothing special. So we leave them. How much in the video player on the chair there? Panasonic one? Fiver. Yeah, can I have a look at it? Is that right? Looking at the old one there. Oh, yeah, the one at the bottom there, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, so right, I'll take that, it's fine, yeah. yeah. They're, uh, don't think they're very, you won't see many about them all. No, I don't think they make them anymore, yeah. <laughs> you got change for 10? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's back in there, it's fine. Thanks a lot, cheers. Yeah, I'll take it for a fiver. Mickey Mouse lights. Oh, I think I've seen these Christmas lights before. He wants a lot of money for them. That's cool. They look very old and very delicate. I'm pretty sure he's very expensive. Mickey Mouse. Mazda Mickey Mouse lights. I might go back and ask because even for parts, 60 quid, 50 quid. I know it's going to be far too expensive, but when I'm sold prices, even for parts, it's worth an ask. With them sitting on top, and I've seen his Christmas lights before and he wanted far too much. I think it was 20 quid just for some standard Father Christmas type ones, but we'll see. See what he says. See what else he's got while we're here. How much are the lights? Mickey Mouse ones. 20. One, two, three, four, five. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So there's one missing. Is this the wire? Mm hmm. I'll leave him. I'll leave him. What's the chances I'll find someone called Emily that wants these in this condition? Size 5. I'm pretty sure in the UK there's a lot of <laughs> Emily's with size 5 feet. How much on the Converse? Pound, yeah? yeah. Uh, for them ones, yeah. Uh, they've been used. That's fine. Yeah, I'll get both those, please. There you go, two Lovely, pounds. Thank uh, you. Cheers, thanks. It's for a pound, well worth searching. So, Emily, size five, I'm coming for you. Another good brand of shoe, Grenson, but these are too far gone. Got that level cracking. It's flaking in as well, that's a shame. Never mind. K shoes, not worth much to be honest. I think K shoes was Clark's originally. Or well, K shoes was sold in Clark's back in the day. They don't fetch too much. 
And these, what are these? Nothing special, I don't think. No. I'll leave them, it's a shame. Can you see that? 110. <coughs> I think if someone's asking 110 on a coat or a boot sale, it's probably not worth looking at anymore. Just trying to Paul Smith, sort of thick knit cardi. Don't know how much. How much on the. Two quid, mate. Two? Okay. There you go. So from 110 for a coat for two quid to a nice Paul Smith uh, knitted piece. I thought it was going to ask like 20, but there you go. Don't always presume. There's your hanger there. I'll have that, mate. Lovely yeah. job. Cheers. Yeah, thank you. Thank Cheers. You. Thanks. Just went to walk away on this door and I found another Paul Smith item. Just literally, just some Paul Smith jeans. Just classic. A little bit of wear on the back, nothing major. I think they're, do I see 34 waist? Yeah, 34 waist, long leg. 34, 34. Hopefully they're cheap. Oh, it's on the jeans as well. Uh, which ones are they, mate? Yeah, there are, there are 10 of the posts. 10, okay, Sorry. yeah. Yeah, I know, it's not. That's right. It's not all as cheap as chips, but that's they're right. yeah. fairly cheap. Yeah. All right, no worries, cheers. Yeah, it wants 10 on them. I'll leave them. This standard jeans, probably only worth like 18, 20. So for 10, too much. Every week, Stone Island. Has to happen. Got Burberry here. Yeah, oh, this looks genuine actually. 100% cotton. To that. Oh, oh, oh. Have you been here the last few weeks? Fred Perry, three pounds. Ah, look at that. All across the stripe there on the back. And on the shoulder as well. Damn. Three quid, but it's wrecked. Oh, that's a shame. Three pound Reese, that's nice. It's like a knitted short sleeve. Add that to my pile. It's like a Ralphie rugby top there. I think it's vintage as well. It's so small, but it's nice. I think it's vintage as well. Vintage Ralphie, custom fit, long sleeve, rugby shirt. It's got like the rubber buttons so you don't knock your teeth out when you're playing rugby. Eight pound for that one, I'm not sure. Four pound, three. Another rail, another Reese. So small knitted. How much on the jumper? That one's three pounds. Three pound, yeah? Okay. I'll give it three pound, if it's for charity. I'll get this one for three pound, yeah? Yep. There's your hanger back. Thank you, well done. Okay. Okay. Thank there you, you go, thank you. Thanks a lot, so well done. I hope it helps a little bit. Yep, all helps. <laughs> good, Seems good. Just come across a Joe Brown's two-piece, that jacket and waistcoat, and they go surprisingly very well. I'm going to go back and see how much it is. There's this one here. It's like a classic look. It's like a matching waistcoat on the inside. There's a price here. Price of 20. Hmm. UK 38. I think that's a medium size. Yeah, they go surprisingly well. If I ask 15, I should still go for like 60 quid. Would you take 15 for this set here? It's got 20 on it. Yeah, so well. 15, yeah. yeah. Thanks for that. You all right for a bag? Yeah, I've got my trolley here. Uh, plenty of space. That's worth it for 15. Yeah, the waistcoat on his own was selling for 35 pounds. And I've got a matching set. Really nice condition, nice and clean. Yeah, should. Hopefully 60 to 80 for that.
That's me all done here. I've stayed an extra hour than I normally do. It's coming up to half eight. Really good day. Probably spent just over the hundred pounds. Haven't got much left. But on the way home, I actually passed the Sainsbury's with a Timson or Thompson, the like dry cleaning shoe repairs place. So I think I'm going to pop in there now. Bring you with me. We'll see how much it is just to replace these soles. I think that's how they do it anyway. I think they sort of take them off, put them back on again. They'll do it properly. I could do it myself probably, but. I don't want to make a hash of it to be honest um so yeah from three pound hopefully no more than 20 quid to do this I, i've never done it before so i'm not sure how much this will cost but um yeah these should be 80 to 100 so it should be worth the money to spend but yeah let's go in there now and see how much it potentially will cost right we're here at sainsbury's now done a bit of research and it couldn't really find what i'm looking for i don't replace the whole sole because that's costing a lot of money it's literally take off that rubber put on a new bit of rubber i don't think it should be too much we're here now so let's go and ask they open at nine and it's just gone nine so bang on time oh they are open all right let's find out hi there just wondering um i've got a pair of shoes about replacing the soles on them they're just worn out how, if you do that and how much it is sort of thing um if it's just the sole yeah 27 27. Yeah, can I put them in then, please? Do you want a box as well? Just keep no, them on. No, I'll sorry. Sorry. Thanks for that. Thank All you. Right. Shall I pay when I pick it up I'm then? Yeah, up. thanks for that. Cheers. Thanks. So there we go. 27 quid. So obviously, shoes are three quid. That's 27. Bang on 30 pounds. Nice, fresh soles. So hopefully, I can push that 80 to 100 pounds. We'll see what the results are, see if it was worth it, and then obviously, see if we can sell it, most importantly the next day right so it's actually the next morning ran out of time got the kids off school got lenny so uh yeah it's now the next day i'm gonna pick them up now they should be ready we'll see what it's like and see if it was worth 27 quid i just gotta wake someone up first yeah lovely all right perfect Frank. lovely thanks for that cheers thanks bye back at the car overall I'm quite impressed 27 pounds and we've got a nice crisp new sole in them very good obviously not original ideally we'd want the shoes to be as original as possible as close to new as possible but yeah churches three pounds the fix 27 so 30 all in hopefully a nice 100 pound sale we'll try 100 probably be more closer to 80 in the future I might try and look into sorting it myself if they save money so it's not £27 every time, but yeah, overall, happy with it.